Hello guys, in this video we're going to be creating a table. You will notice that it's really, really easy. It has a really basic shape. Once you separate from the scene, this is going to be the result at the, end of, at the end of this video. This is going to be really quick. And that's it, guys. Let's start. <clears throat> We're going to start by adding a cube. This is going to be in a new file, which is going to be called table. <clears throat> Remember that <clears throat> we're scaling the objects because when we at the end of this video we're going to link the objects to one scene and they should be matching so we're going to scale this in C axis dot zero eleven Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to scale this in x axis dot five eight, and in y axis we're going to scale this dot four seventy five. <clears throat> we're going to be using mirror, so we're going to delete half of this object. Clipping and we're going to be using a spin again, but it's really useful, so that's how we're going to be doing the curving here. So we're going to extrude this in C axis <coughs> and we're going to scale and move this in, in C axis dot zero eight negative. Now <clears throat> we're going to be using the cursor there and spin. We're going to be using negative and twelve steps. Okay. We have created half of the object really really quick. Now <clears throat> we're going to select these faces and we're going to duplicate them but before do that we're going to be using snaps and vertex now we're going to duplicate it grab C axis and with control active we're going to activate the snap okay this is empty so let's fill and scale this in C axis 1.5 is going to be working <coughs> now We're going to add two lab cuts <coughs> and scale them in y axis 2.9. If you scale this, 3 is going to it's going to match perfect. <coughs> so I'm going to scale this in y 2.9. Select this loop of faces and delete it. Remember that I'm telling you the numbers because it's very important that you have proportions and with these numbers you are going to get it of course <coughs> when you are creating your own scene you have to have be careful with this now we're going to scale this in y axis just a little like scale in y axis dot nine eighty six all right and now 
let's add another lock cut another lock cut <clears throat> and we're going to be using dot a and seven five for both we're going to extrude these faces dot <coughs> one okay we're going to be using bevel with this object and we can do it now we're going to apply rotation and scale oh well what you have to apply indeed is scale now we're going to add the bevel and this is obviously too much we're going to be using like give me a second <clears throat> one dot five millimeters <clears throat> we're going to be using this in smooth shading and we're going to be using edge split okay now we're going to select this face and we're going to duplicate it move it in Y axis like in the middle and then we're going to extrude in Y axis again in the middle we're going to scale this object or these faces in Z axis dot sixty five and move it in C axis again really really quick we have created our table just checking if we're missing something Okay guys, that's it. Yes, see you.